back to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox One, which begins now. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to be notified of when we have new episodes of Red Dead or just any other new channel content in general. Okay, so will this be the day that we finally catch up to old, old Dutch? Probably not. I mean, he's been one, he's been ahead of us every step of the way. And I do mean every step of the way. For purely scientific purposes. This definitely does not sound like something that's gonna progress shit. Someone's a little jumpy. And you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. Was I got nothing. The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you want to such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning. Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us, closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god? You know. I argued with Fortescue. It's because you're fucking crazy. Scandal, but I shall be proven right, sir. I shall mark my words. Jesus, son. Lay off the cocaine! What civilization is all about the redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vandalind, and me the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Jesus, son, I have no words for this level of insanity. I cannot follow you off the bridge that you have jumped <laughs> off, good sir. He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Whoops. I didn't realize he's making. Like Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down! I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, oh, Professor. Mr. Marston. Oh. So, where the hell are we going today? Because, I mean, he's held up in that big mountain there? fort that where are we going? he knows we can't exactly. How well, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and fights, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. And what exactly did uh, uh, the school's making no sense? Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal. Oh, why? Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good the idea. The hell? You are crazy good, sir. So, what exactly? Okay, I have no... This has got to be some kind of trap, but I mean, it's not going to involve Dutch. It's just going to involve his men, surprisingly. I'm actually a little nervous. Because we've had like three missions involving Dutch, and none of them have gone okay. anywhere. My God, that was terrifying! Did I say we leave before any of its friends turn up? Yeah, that might be a good, might be a good idea. You know, we don't need more bears. Bears. Bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. Would it? Oh, very well for you to say. But perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals. But I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. Here we are. Easy. Oops. Well, then I will park. I will park my horse. Out of my comfort zone. Yeah, working on it. Wait, is this that damaged cabin that we came? Okay. Why exactly do they want to meet with us? What do they have to gain from this? And is that is Dutch in there? Hard to tell. 
Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Yeah. What you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I had to quit fight. Look, violence isn't the answer. Violence Maybe is what got us here. Men in America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. Violence is definitely what got us here, but while this is going on, listen to the dialogue. I need to... We come in peace! You call this a meeting? Give me a damn weapon. This is not what we agreed. You shut your mouth, Fletcher Snake! Sorry, jumping out during dialogue is fine. Wait, did they just shoot the guy? Fletcher, get down now! Well, well, this. Just keep your head down. Yeah, the Spencer, the crazy gang members. It looks like they shot our guy in the head, but no, I had to let the cat, I had to let the cat out of the room because he woke up. So, so now it was time for him to. I don't know about you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Getting the hell, getting the hell out of here would definitely be a good idea. Yeah, come here, look, come here, little Buttercup. Come here, Shadow. <laughs> Damn, that thing t toppled hit ass over tea kettle. And man, he Professor is booking he is definitely determined to get the hell out of Dodd. Bam! Yeah, get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm working on it, but McDougal's going insanely fast too! Apparently he grabbed a really good horse. But yeah, I have no idea what the purpose of that meeting was, if for nothing else than to pretty much kill us. It seems like that was the... Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to leave you behind, because I don't mind, and plus you're not going to catch up, and yeah, you aren't going to catch up. Ugh, <sighs> Jesus, how big of a gang has he put together? Because it's funny, it seems like every guy has put together such an insanely large gang. It's like, where are they getting all these people? And wow, I didn't even realize that it has been... Because yeah, we're at Blackwater now, so we'll be able to make it back to his office. I believe that was right up here. Am I right there, boy? Okay, come on. Where, where the hell are you going? Why are, and why are we taking the alleyway to get there? Safe and sound. Ah, Thank the Lord. I guess we're leaving the horses. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Probably. Get some rest, Professor. Well, is that the whole mission? I am very surprised, actually. And is it still... It's not daybreak, is it? 6 p.m. and 5... 6 p.m. and 5 a.m., and that must mean it's a little past 9. Are you fucking for real? Are you fucking for real, man? Ah. <sighs> I guess the only other thing to do is to go home, sleep it off, 6 p.m. and 5 a.m., are you... really? Ah, of course they... 
Of course, they have to flip the fucking script on us. Yeah, yeah, save game. That's fine. <sighs> fucking ridiculous, if you ask me. Okay, so what the hell time is it? It's almost 4, and they said... They said 6 p.m.? Shit. Someone told me the mayor likes to you know what? It's been a while since we've, you know, played around together. Hell, I haven't played around on my own anyways, but... Sure. Well, let's play a... Let's play a round of poker. Kill some time. Can I see what time it is? Okay, cool. So, yeah, I know how this shit fucking works. I also know I have a lot of chips. Um... Got no way to hold them. No way to fold them. No way to walk away. No way to run. Queen and Jack, so it's actually not bad. Queen and Jack. That means if a nine He's getting he's getting big bridges. I'll push it. Push it to the limit. Thank you. Thank you for these chips. I didn't think I'd, man, I didn't think I'd bluff you guys out like that. Got no way to hold them. Give me, give me some more good shit. Wow, that is complete crap. I'd be okay with, yeah, good. Wait, did I? Did it say I had a, no, I had a five and a king, didn't I? Fuck, that is, that is fucking shit. I'm, I'm gone. I can get real lucky on this hand. So I had a king and a five, and yeah, so that wouldn't have done me any good. What the actual hell? Nope. This is, man, these are some shit hands. Give me, I made the smart choice. Wow, okay, I'm, I'll just call ten. I hate all of you people. Fuck it. Let's do it! Let's bluff our way into it. Yep. Let's bluff our way into a good hand. Give me something good. Thank you. I'm actually I'm actually on board with that. I still got the best pair. That's fine. Still looking good. Don't want to scare them off. 130. That means I want to go. I'll go to three. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pump them all in. Perfect. Thank you. And it's actually going pretty. What time is it? Okay, so we're doing we're doing pretty good actually on this game. Maybe we can bust out a table. And yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. Oh, did some asshole raise? Five, six, five, four. That's not bad, right? Six, five, four. Ugh. I'm okay with that. I think we all have. Thirty-eight triple of that would be seventy-six. 114, I want to go triple. Are we gonna be men about this? I forget what I had. Eight jack, that is complete shit, but I will I will make them think I have a straight. You fucking ass. My bluff will not pay off. No, it will not. I'm out. Yeah, I made some money though. Well, that's always a good sign. Good. Well, that killed some time. So hopefully, it was the only way I could think to kill some damn time. I don't feel like going to the movie house because I have no idea what that'll accomplish. So are we good? 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. Fuck. 
Okay, what's the movie house do? Actually, I should probably talk to the guy out here, shouldn't I? Watch. And two dollars? Not bad. Thank you. I'll watch a movie. That'll probably kill some time for me, I'd imagine. Um, this will definitely kill some time. Wait. <laughs> Our hero commences his daily regimen of manly and <laughs> I paid two dollars for this fucking shit. It's usual that such performance talked with gentle women such as this. Jurors, what perverse distractions indwell upon the weaker sex. I must investigate these peculiar happenings. But first, I must head home henceforth for luncheon. What time is it? Oh, I can actually pause this fucking thing? Wait, help! 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 <laughs> How long is this movie? Hawk! The quadrants. The game is afoot. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> what madness is this? By the way, that would be so. I mean, okay, I've watched silent films, so. I can't say anything but man, and I guess back then they didn't really have... Wait, what? He's insatiable. Okay. This movie just took a very... <laughs> this movie is actually really funny. How long is that was it? Oh, he has a missus. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Congress yourself. I derive the light from your memory. Tis your conjugal duty. <laughs> Suffrage, a woman's right to vote. What? This is still going? No, I'm sorry, we've been here long enough. I mean, it was worth the two dollars. Oh my god, that shit was... It killed no time? Are you for real? It killed no time? Okay, well, what's this one then? Well, hello. It's another poker room. Well, I wanted something to do. Some bastard outlaw just robbed me. Please, can you stop him? Come on, come on, horse. Okay, where's this outlaw? I can't imagine he went that far. Man, I haven't had a shopkeep robbery in a while. Whoa, hello! Yep, just for, just for shooting me too. Just for shooting me too, I'm gonna drag your ass. And I'm gonna drag it over wood, because I can imagine that'd probably hurt more. Okay, I think that shop can... Goal and wood. I don't get it. I, I can imagine this has gotta hurt. I mean, we're dragging him not just over dirt anymore, we're dragging him over... Man, that's gotta hurt. Ugh. Why would I cut you free? That's 
Why is that even an option for criminals? I'm not going to know. Oh, the guy. The guy's right here, anyways. Acme quality. I do like that. Here you go. Here you go. Do what you want with it. It's more fun that way because then the shopkeeper. Oh! You will not tie up the cornerway. I will kill you. After I beat the shit out of you, of course. Well, like I said, I wanted something to do to uh, kill a little bit of time, and I think. Eh, not quite, but. I hate these missions that not only require you to wait to a certain period. Why do I have to wait to a certain period? And, oh, cool, a newspaper guy. Yeah, it's been a while since I bought a paper. Plus, hell, I got I got the money. Do you see care expressed on this face? Only a dollar? That's not terrible. Tyrannical governor's throne is... Oh, I, I need to read this. The Bloody Rebellion in Mexico claimed its first high-profile victim yesterday with the killing of a state governor, Colonel Austin Augustine Elendin, governor of no Nuevo Pariso, just south of the border below New Austin, was killed yesterday following a firefight with the rebels. Unsubstantiated reports suggest American mercenaries may have been fighting on both sides during the battle. Abraham Reyes, leader of the rebel band that is trying to overthrow General... Sanchez's government and improved conditions in Mexico claim this was a great victory that will lead all the way to the presidential palace in Mexico City. Colonel Allendale, who had been implicated in several massacres and other atrocities in the region, was not a popular governor, and locals cheered when they heard the news of his demise. Mr. Reyes promised to bring greater political freedom to Nuevo Pariso and set up a workers' council immediately, while at the same time releasing a new state anthem, a ballad of his own composition. Okay. News about Dutch, women arrested for indecent attire. Yes, I must read this. Gertrude Singer was arrested by officials on Thursday for indecent dress. She has repeatedly refused to wear a corset, as is deemed proper attire. And her chemise was often visible below her petticoats. Miss Singer is thought to be escalating widespread civil disobedience among suffered gates and other who shun the established ways of operating in a civilized society. News can be fun. What's the rush there? Okay, so now we still have a little bit of time left and nothing else to do. I did everything I could. Reliable jewelry. I can't go in there. I mean, I've done everything I could, so... Yeah, I am checking back between those times, you ass. It's funny, I almost want to do, like... I almost want to do, like, fucking Pokemon and press start to get on a bike or something. I've been... Shit, I've played that game too much as is. <sighs> I guess... Yep. Yeah. Okay, ten minutes. That's... That's fine. This episode's been a lot of back and forth of excitement and insanity, and, hey, a second mission. I have really nothing else to do. Besides... We it's been been a while since we've had two missions back to back like this. I've had to kill time with a lot of bullshit. Oh come on. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hello, it is six PM. Thank you. I'm like hello, pendejo, it is six PM <sighs> The product the prodigal son returns to Yale. So, we're doing more sh So now we're on this professor. weird sidebar of this lunatic professor who thinks the, uh... Oh, boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. Who thinks natives are savages, and... Okay, What's so... See, Flame? You leaving? Yes, sir, yes, I am, sir. To be honest, he the, might be... The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. So you're gonna go? Yeah, you're gonna go back nope. to civilization. Savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm <gasps> a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Then why the fuck are you here? Where's my cocaine? 
So does that mean we have to escort you somewhere? I mean, there is a train running through town. You couldn't, you, okay, you could catch that going to Connecticut, right? Dandy, sir. Just dandy. <sighs> Fuck, and we have to escort. Do we have to <laughs> escort this cocaine <laughs> rattle? Is Wait. That you, John? Hello, Dutch. Why the big balls <laughs> on you? Two for the price of one out here in this. Big balls place. on you to walk into Maybe town. So, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor. We're wow. Kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Because you're fucking Fair crazy. Enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, uh, that that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. To... We are thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. You don't know what the fuck you're fighting That's for. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you... Kindly send that academic out here Did not so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? Wow! Just kidding. <laughs> Turn around across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. Well, I'm thinking he's probably waiting for us to come out. <laughs> oh, hi. No, 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 no. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Well, that's good. I guess their room was a little ways away from the other side, which is a lucky break for us. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Yeah, I guess that's what we got to do. We got to do some parkour shit to get away from, uh... John, help me, John! Stay back! There's a teacher gets it! Ah, I should have known Dutch wouldn't make wouldn't have made this easy. No surprise there. I also should I mean he must have had a plan for whoops, get back down. I'll shoot you in a minute, McDougal. I mean, I knew he must have had a plan for if, you know, he's just gonna fucking walk into town the way he did. You don't, you don't walk into town like that without a plan. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it! Yes, let's do that. The horses should be in an alleyway down here! They should be, but... Yeah, convenient that there's a ladder from the rooftop all the way down here. Ooh. Yeah, working on it. Alright, get us out of this hellhole. I don't know why, uh, I don't know why Dutch wants fucking McDougal dead. I can see why he'd want us to, well, I guess. Yeah, a little... good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. Yeah? It was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Not yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Man, Martin. I guess the Old the old West lasted longer than I would have given it credit for. I didn't realize it lasted yeah. into the automobile age. Please, I'll leave and never come back. Good. 
good. We whoa. There we go. Until they get closer. There we go. Whoop, damn it. Well, he's getting a little far ahead, so. Where exactly do we need to take him then? And how many men does Dutch have? Because we keep killing them and they keep coming. It always baffles me how many men the people in these games have. how fucking slow the shooting feels. Bam. Nope. Sorry. Not happening. Come on. Not while my rifle has bullets in it, although it's almost out of bullets, so that is a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Oh, well, there's a train, so... Got you back to the train. Does that mean you're going to? My research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. <laughs> ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. Will they? Well, they bloody better. Will they though? Well, or are you just crazy? Goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> Ah, you crazy guy! You know it'd be funny so if they. You know it'd be funny if they blew up the train. So long, sir. I mean, come on, Dutch is smart. You'd think he'd have a plan. Either that, or watch someone is on the train. Or, not surprisingly, that is actually really surprising. Oh, I was like, what's going on there, man? We, well, we got a little bit more done than the usual. We have to go back to... Who do we have to go back to? Agent Ross, yeah. I don't. Why is it a G, then? That's so weird. I don't know, but... Can I... Can, ooh, there is a house somewhere around. Is, is it here? Okay, it's to the south. I think. Yeah, cool. I can buy a house way out here in the middle of nowhere. You look like a man who could use with a with a woman. Well, uh, How much? Hello there, sir. Holy fuck balls, Batman. For a cabin out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Man, I've had fancier places for a lot cheaper. Holy fuckballs. Well, at least we got ourselves a nice piece of property to end the episode with, I guess, a little bit of progress made. Dutch still playing with us, but... I don't know. We'll see. I mean, okay, our, our guide is dead. The professor's gone. The only one left is Agent Ross, so... I mean, really, how much further can this go? How much further can this game of cat and mouse really go? Who knows? But we're not going to find that out here because we have to bring this episode to a close. So, in the meantime, go check out the channels of some of our friends here. And until the next time, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>